Greetings fellow Decepticons, Sam Blaster1987 here, and today I'll be continuing my Takara Legends Times Return reviews with Highbrow, one of the Audible Headmasters from both Season 4 of the American Cartoon and the Japanese spin-off series The Headmasters. As you can see here, Highbrow is a twin rotor Cybertronian vertical takeoff and landing helicopter type vehicle with his twin spinning rotors that interfere with each other because of the way their blades are so close together. How he doesn't tear himself apart flying like that, I have no idea. And for size comparison, here he is with the Nightbeat Titans Return Titanmaster drone vehicle, which was packed in with a set because it's a Japanese release. And inside, here we have Gort. The Titan Master, who is, of course, Highbrow's Headmaster partner from the, yeah, well, in the American series, he was a member of a resistance cell fighting against Lord Zarak's Hive, the evil nebulons that control the planet, who ended up becoming Highbrow's Headmaster. And in addition to Highbrow, he can also interact with the Nightbeat Titan Master vehicle drone, like so. Just flip his arms up, legs up, and don't know if you'll be able to see, but there are two tiny pegs on the inside of the, yeah, thing here for the Titan Master to connect the holes in his feet to, for a more stable seated position inside the car, like so. And then, if you remove Gort from the driver's seat, you can flip it upside down, turn the chassis inside out and open it up to become a tank. There's also this second post that comes out here that's supposed to be the handle for a gun mode which I'll show off later. And as you can see the Titan Master can now fit inside the tank mode like so. Not as effective as in the, yeah, Not quite as effective as in the, yeah, car mode, but there is another way to integrate the Titan Master. There's a neck socket thing here that can attach like so. And just like that. Whoops. If I can just get this working, hang on, bear with me. And now the tank is complete, but it's got Highbrow's face sticking out of it. So, to transform the Highbrow trans tank to body, first take off these guns like so. These guns can actually paint together for a Titan Master to sit inside them. Like so. Then, to continue transforming Highbrow's transductor body, fold the cockpit down across the back, making sure the rotors are not in the way, like so. Fold in the landing wheel. Unpeg the arms and bring the shoulders up. Flip out the fists. All the usual times return stuff. Then, split the rear section of the vehicle. Bring the legs out, like so. Making sure the hips are the right way around. Then get a nail underneath and bring out the heel spurs on the feet, like so. Bring out the heel spur. And collapse the groin into place, like so. 
Then finally, take Gort, bend him over double like so, and head on. As they say in the Japanese uh, animated series. They are designed to fit both ways, regardless of which way around the headmaster head is, but in order for the headmaster's face to not be visible, you're supposed to attach them this way around. Though it can sometimes be a little bit awkward and bobbleheading with the yeah, ball joint and neck articulation. But here we have Highbrow in his robot mode completed. As I said before, you can turn the Night Beam Vehicle Drone into a gun, so flip out the handle like so, bring these panels up, and flip out these barrels like so, and you can hold the Night Beam Drone Vehicle as a handgun like so. You can also wield this double gun like so. For articulation, ball jointed neck because of the ball jointed head of a Titan Master unit. Universal, whoops, universal shoulders. Be careful not to damage the rotor blades when doing this though. Universal shoulders can go in and out as well as forward and back. Then you've got a bicep swivel, 90 degree elbow bend. No wrist swivel, but the wrists do hinge in and out for transformation. No waist swivel, sadly, due to transformation, but you do get universal hips with a slight bit of soft ratcheting on the outward movement. Bicep swivel and a super deep knee bend for transformation. Nothing of a feet, sadly. For size comparison, here is high brow with the Django Fett figure from my last review. Whoops, there goes the rangefinder thing again. I'll reattach that in a moment. And here he is with Movie One Bludgeon, or Revenge of a Fallen Bludgeon from a Movie One Wreckage Mold, rather. So, that more or less concludes my review of Titans Return of Legends Highbrow. I have been Sandblaster1987. Join me next time when I'll be returning to the Tokusatsu realm again with Shokugan Modeling Project Gaoicarus, aka the Isis Megazord from Power Rangers Wild Force. Till then, till all are one.